Have I ever mentioned how much I absolutely love the title music for this game? Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Raid Fun, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Air Ride. In the last episode, we took on the first three stages of the Air Ride section, which were the Fantasy Meadows, Celestial Valley, and the Sky Sands. And in this episode, we're going to take on the Frozen Hillside, the Magma Flows, and the Beanstalk Park. So let's begin immediately by going into the Frozen Hillside. And before anything else changes, you might notice that there is one vehicle, or air machine, as I have now noticed what they're called. There's one air machine that's missing, and that reason is I deleted my data because I want to do a little bit of an experiment. Uh, it's not like I was actually going to use that other one anyways. I forget exactly what it was. I think it was the... Honestly, I can't, for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. Oh well, it's not like we're actually going to use it anyways. Alright, we have all the vehicles set. Let's begin! Okay, whoa. Okay, that just went unexpected. But this level, um, it actually is really good to use for the glider thing because earlier on I was actually practicing this and surprisingly I did extremely well with it despite myself constantly being knocked into walls left and right. And also the stage has a pretty cool setting along with it. Besides the obviously, or the obvious, well, snow area, you also have lasers and basically all these cool things. Like, there's a bomb which I'm gonna pick up and oh god <laughs> I gotta run away from that bomb did it actually get anyone I think it got yep yeah, it got the yellow person oh well I think the thing of this LP is that I don't know it it's only happened twice right now but I think this game really hates the yellow Kirby it might just be me it might not just be me uh, if you agree then yay I'm not alone in this if you don't agree I'm alone on this all right I want to go ahead and grab this snowman though because if someone or by someone I mean fourth place comes right behind me I can luckily freeze him. And besides, we've given him a little bit of a cute Eskimo Kirby, which is... Actually, I think it's more like an Ice Climber type thing, because... Well, honestly, this game does reference a lot... Or Kirby in general actually references... Uh, references it is? It references... Yep, there's the Asian, But it references a lot of other Nintendo games, like the Sword Hat. Like, the Sword Power-Up is... Well, Link, obviously, if the cap wasn't obvious enough. And then we have the... Well, we have the Eskimo thing, or the Snow Power-Up, not the Eskimo thing with Ice Climbers. There could be more, but of course, I'm not that knowledgeable in Kirby because that isn't... Honestly, Kirby is not my favorite uh, m Nintendo game, or like my Nintendo... My favorite Nintendo series out of all these, but it's actually... It's good. I'm just gonna say, like, it's good. I really do enjoy Kirby. It's not my favorite. Favorite would obviously be reserved for Legend of Zelda, despite my knowledge of, well, what to do in dungeons because, well, I really do suck at Zelda games, but that's aside the point. Uh, we're still in third place, so I think, if I'm lucky, yep, okay, yeah, we're definitely not gonna get second. Now I'm just fearing that the yellow guy will not try and come over here and be like, oh, hey, what's up, I'm yellow, let me try and win. Nope, I got it. Okay, thank God. Let's see how fast I beat him by. And honestly, I was listening to the music for this. It actually sounded really nice. And I think I'm trying to do this a lot, but I gotta stop that. Anyways, did we beat him? Oh, I thought it was 2.11.55 for the yellow guy. I'm like... Wow, we just really don't want that yellow guy to win. Well, we actually don't because he's always last place. Let's uh, come on, let's be honest here. The yellow Kirby always gets last place. Why? Because they're s Nintendo is secretly being racist against themselves. I just had to, okay? It's a thing. And we got some achievements. I don't know exactly what I unlocked, but hey, whatever. Okay, next up we got the magma flows. Uh, anything we're just gonna keep on the wing star because honestly I really do like the wing star a lot I just like gliding in midair it's just a me thing and wow this stage looks pretty cool honestly it reminds me of something like Bowser's Castle because well Bowser's Castle always had a lot of lava of course this is much well darker than it or maybe uh, I don't know if you guys ever played it but Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, Tour Tour there was something I think it was a level with Bowser and like one of Bowser's levels and it actually looked a lot like this. I mean, it had more of like an obsidian type floor. You know, it wasn't just so like the, well, the basic castles in other Mario games that you see, which is all like, okay, there's lava and where am I going with this? I don't even see, oh my God, I'm, I almost fell in lava. But if you guys can see where I'm getting at with the Bowser stuff, like it had a castle and then it just had lava and then dry bones. And that was the end of the story. Maybe bullet bells, the occasional flomp and womp, but Beside the point, this isn't a game about bows. Whoa! That, 
That was pretty cool. Okay, like I said, this game is mostly blind. Actually, it is blind from this point on. I really do not know anything else about it. I'm just playing this because uh, a popular demand. Oh, speaking of that, <clears throat> I should have announced this last episode, and I probably should have made an annotation. I'm not sure if I did or not, but by the time this goes up, I'm pretty sure I would have the annotation out by now. I would like to thank the person who actually recommended this game, since this was a game that was requested to me by someone called Super Sergeant Luigi, and he actually requested this game to me, uh, I'd like to say maybe nine months ago, back when I was still doing Donkey Kong Jungle Beat and maybe finishing Platinum, I don't necessarily remember. So thank you Super Sergeant Luigi if you're still alive and watching my channel and my content, if you're not, well then, you're always be in my memory, why am I jumping around on this conveyor belt? No, 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 that's bad Kirby! Well, at least I get to see the really, really cool segment again with the dragons and the fire and the... Yes. Let's see the fire dragon yes thing. Ready? Three, two, one. Fire dragons! Oh, I will never get over that. It's just so cool to look at. And also, speaking of stuff that's cool to look at, this game has wonderful graphics. Like, I'm just saying right here. Like, it does really fit with the theme of Melee because, well, obviously, how La this was made by HAL Laboratories and we got second place. But, like I said... This is made by HAL Laboratories, which obviously made the other Kirby games, though. And HAL Laboratories, I've been saying that a lot. However, they've also contributed to the making of Super Smash Bros. Melee. So, if the music sounds similar, or the graphics look similar, yes, that's because, well, you're watching this in the same time that they made Melee. Because this was released roughly around the same time. I think 2003 was when this came out. Okay, but we complete that. I actually didn't see what place the Asian got in. If he got in last, then oh well. We didn't get in last. Surprise, surprise. Okay, we have time for one more. So we'll be saving the machine passage for the next episode. So let's finish off with the Beanstalk Park. And there are people are messaging the Skypes, and I probably should have not. Damn it. Okay, moving on. Let's just continue on with the final level of Beanstalk Park and ignoring my computer. If they... Uh, if you could hear Skype, that's not yours, if you own a Skype, or if you have possession of Skype. It's probably mine, with people annoying me. But, whoa, okay, Beanstalk Park. This is a really cool level, like, I, I mean, all these levels are really cool, but they're cool in their own unique way, like, well, Beanstalk Park reminds me of, it always reminds me of the, what's it called? Jack and the Beanstalk, that's what I was, whoa! Whoa, what just happened? Okay, not complaining, not complaining at all. That was really cool. Like, Twin Dragon, well, Twin Dragons, Red fi Fire Dragons, those will always be the coolest thing ever in this game, for now at least, but, I mean, come on, there was like a mini Ferris wheel there with just super cool beanstalk mechanics. And, oh my god, Mike guy. Mike just used skill me, and I'm in dead last. Oh no, this is not good. I need to push like I'm having a baby. That was uncalled for. I'm sorry. Okay. Anybody else around? Uh, we're pretty far away from them. Yeah, we're kind of far away from them. If I find a way to glide, I will definitely do the opportunity. Uh, wing, I'm not gonna take you. I could really use a mic. Uh, so, like, any mic enemy, I would gladly appreciate their droppings. Yeah, I just said droppings. I would gladly appreciate any kind of skill that I may get from- Oh my god, Asian! Okay. I'm being a little bit too racist right now, I apologize, but, I mean, come on, I just couldn't resist. It's just, it's tempting, and I fell for temptation. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Father Jesus, Lord of death. Guy who crucified on the, let's not talk about religion. Let's talk about how cool the Beanstalk Park is, because, uh, actually, now that I look at it, Beanstalk Park, Park, Ferris Wheel, how did I know? Mike guy. Yes! Boom! Okay, can I please get third place? I'm gonna get dead last, aren't I? I'm gonna get dead last. Oh, yep. One person won. Second person won. And, yep, we lost. Wow. Wow. For such a cool level, we did so bad. Wonderful, wonderful way to end off the episode, in my opinion. Well, for once, we lost against the Asian by four seconds. Yeah, I feel really bad at this game now. Like I said, level three CPUs, challenge accepted. Level nine CPUs, compare that to Dark Souls for me, why don't you? If you ever know what Dark Souls is. If you don't know what, if you don't know what Dark Souls is, voice cracks everywhere, I tell you. If you don't know what Dark Souls is, 
Good. If you ever played Dark Souls before, I'm sorry. You must have experienced a lot of pain. Because it's so difficult. Anyways, enough about all the Dark Souls speak. That is going to be it for this episode as we unlocked a thing, Purple Kirby. Okay, we can now... We'll get into that next time because we have two more stages to do. And then we actually have this secret stage, which we have yet to unlock. As well as random stuff, but we're not going to be doing the random stuff. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Kirby Air Ride, we're going to be taking on the Machine Passage, the Checker Knights, and maybe we might unlock this ninth stage. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.